Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's devotion for September 30th. Today's devotion is titled Small Miracles. The Bible reading is from Zechariah chapter 4, verses 6 to 10. Then he said to me, This is what the Lord says to Zerubbabel. It is not by force nor by strength, but by my spirit says the Lord of Heaven's armies. Nothing, not even a mighty mountain, oops, sorry, not even a mighty mountain will stand in Zerubbabel's way. It will become a level of plain before him. And when Zerubbabel sets the final stone of the temple in place, the people will shout, May God bless it. May God bless it. Then another message came to me from the Lord. Zerubbabel is the one who laid the foundation of this temple, and he will complete it. Then you will know that the Lord of Heaven's armies has sent me. Do not despise these small beginnings, for the Lord rejoices to see the work begin, to see the plumb line in Zerubbabel's hand. The seven lamps represent the eyes of the Lord that would search all around the world. At our wedding shower, our shy friend Dave stood in a corner clutching an oblong tissue-wrapped object. When his turn came to present his gift, he brought it forward. Evan and I unwrapped it to discover a hand-carved piece of wood containing perfect oblong concentric wood grain circles and the engraved sentence, Some of God's miracles are small. The plaque has hung in our home for 45 years, reminding us again and again that God is at work even in the small things, paying a bill, providing a meal, healing a cold, all tallying up to an impressive record of God's provision. Throughout the prophet Zechariah, the governor of Judah, Zerubbabel, received a similar message from God regarding the rebuilding of Jerusalem and the temple. After returning from their Babylonian captivity, a season of slow progress began, and the Israelites grew discouraged. Do not despise these small beginnings, God declared. He accomplishes his desires through us, and sometimes in spite of us. Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord Almighty. When we grow weary at the apparent smallness of God's work in and around us, may we remember that some of his miracles may be small. He uses the small things to build toward his greater purposes. Where have you seen God's small miracles in your life? How has he used small things to provide for your needs and the needs of those around you. Thank you for joining me for today's devotion, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.